Hello and welcome to LFC Focus. Liverpool have just drawn one all with Manchester City and all in all I'd say it was probably a fair result. I think both teams looked like they could have snatched a win at various points in the game. You know City started off far better, Liverpool were all at sea at the beginning of the game. I mentioned on Twitter their tactic of having the two, the fullback and the winger make overlapping runs was really just working our fullbacks to death because there were moments where Sterling would cut inside, Fernandinho would go to the byline and James Milner just didn't know where to go. So starting off, they had the tactical edge, but I think obviously the the loss against Monaco and having to play midweek, whereas Liverpool didn't, obviously showed signs of having an effect on their players at various points in the game. Liverpool grew into it a little bit towards the end of the second half and probably, I think, should have gone into the uh, half-time break 1-0 up. I think we probably should have done a lot more with the... Uh, pressure that we were able to put on Manchester City there but obviously then so soon after the half-time break we did get the goal I think it's definitely a penalty really you know Clichy does get a little bit of the ball but when you put your foot that high in the penalty box and you're coming from behind a player at pace as well you're asking to give away a penalty really and that was let's be honest one of the few decisions that Mike Oliver got right really in that game I mean he was all over the shot really the one thing that you can really say for him was that he was consistently getting things wrong you know he was letting things go when he shouldn't have done he was you know a, he was booking players for challenges that were nowhere near as rash as other ones that had gone in earlier on in the game and really I think he just let the game get out of control obviously with the slippy surface and the fact that both teams were trying to play a pressing game they were going to get stuck into each other a little bit but Michael Oliver just didn't really keep a lid on that and I mean, really, as I reckon as a neutral, that probably made it better. As a Liverpool fan, it was a bit frustrating to not see the game kept under control and see City's players punished when they should, perhaps should have been. I think Yaya Torre should probably have been sent off for that tackle on, I think it was Emre Jan. But it certainly did help to make the game a brilliant spectacle because at halftime we were all just raving about how amazing it was to watch. And it sort of died down a little bit in the second half, became a little bit more tactical. And obviously, Man City got their goal as well. I think it, that was... A little bit inevitable really you know when they've got players like Aguero on the pitch and all those other players in that front five as well who whether or not they're having a good day they have got the quality to punish you within a moment and that's exactly what they did it was one good ball into the box and Clavin I agree with Jamie Carragher in that it's a bit harsh to say that he should have done better but his starting position just isn't good enough and he doesn't quite have the pace to get to the ball in time whereas Sergio Aguero does and obviously it's 1-1. One, one. Uh, quite a few chances towards the end of the game where I think we probably could have snatched it. You know, the Lalana chance obviously is the, the main one where you're just praying that he puts his boot through it and it could have been 2-1 to Liverpool. But, you know, it could also have been 2-1 to Manchester City because they had their fair share of chances towards the end of the game as well. So, all in all, it was a very exciting game and I am quite glad with the point. I obviously would have liked to see a win and I think we... On, on another day, we probably could have got the three points there, but the record against the top six is intact. And now it's more just about pushing forward and getting the wins in those last nine games against the so-called smaller teams because we've done all our games against the top six. We've you know won the top six mini league, as it were. So now it's all about just picking up more and more points and hoping that our rivals start taking points off each other because obviously... I think we are now ahead of Arsenal, even if they win their two games in hand. But I'm pretty sure if Man U win their two, then they would go above us, which is a concern because obviously we don't want, after having such a brilliant season, a Man U being so iffy throughout for them to suddenly finish above us. So quite pleased with today's result. Hopefully uh, we can kick on from that, work on things like defending a little bit more in the international break and then come back and just make that push for the top four. And that's all for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're new around here and follow at LFC Focus TV on Twitter. Bye for now.